Many Hollywood stars you see on the screen have battled with strange addiction. Some have had their career destroyed by the addiction, while some of the addictions have not affected them. From Angelina Jolie's knife addiction to forgetting Sarah Marshall star, Russell Brand, here are the top strangest addictions in Hollywood history. Michael Douglas. First on the list is Wall Street star, Michael Douglas. Michael Douglas is a Hollywood actor and producer known as the son of famous actor Kirk Douglas and for his famous roles in films like Wall Street, where he played the ruthless Gordon Gecko and Fatal Attraction. Being one of the most talented actors in Hollywood, he has won several awards, including two Academy Awards and five Golden Globe Awards, but he had one addiction that he battled, sex addiction. Michael has been known to play completely sexually driven roles in Fatal Attraction and Basic Instinct, which made many fans and media flying rumors that he is a sex addict. Well, no one saw him as a sex addict until in the 1990s, when he checked himself into Arizona Clinic, a sex addiction hospital for rehab during his first marriage to Deandra Luca. Douglas talked about his rehabilitation in his biography, written by John Parker. Sex is just a wave that sweeps over me, an impulse that is overpowering. I'm helpless every time. Even though he denied that he wasn't a sex addict, maybe because of the way people made it sound. His father, Kirk Douglas, according to a HuffPost article, said, What's wrong with sex addiction? I've been addicted to sex my whole life. After recovering from throat cancer, Michael admitted during an interview with The Guardian that he initially thought the disease was caused by his smoking and drinking habit. However, he revealed it was caused by human papillomavirus, HPV, a sexually transmitted disease he contracted because of oral sex he gave to women. Charlie Sheen. Next is Charlie Sheen, the son of famous Hollywood actor Martin Sheen. Charlie Sheen rose to fame for his roles in movies like Platoon, Wall Street, and the TV show Two and a Half Men, which he got fired from because of his behavior and public disputes with the show's creators. His bad behavior was as a result of his addictions to drugs and alcohol. But we're not going to talk about this. Sheen was also a sex addict, one of the worst in Hollywood's history. There were several news reports about his frequent sexcapades with sex workers and porn stars. His sex addiction even earned him the nickname Charlie the Machine. His ex-wife, Richard, revealed after their divorce that she discovered Sheen was accessing gay pornography sites, which involved young underage boys. Could be true because Feldman revealed that Haim mentioned that he was sexually assaulted on the set of Lucas by Sheen. In 1995, Charlie Sheen revealed that he spent $53,000 on sexual services from sex workers. And in 2000, he told Maxim that if he had to guess, he'd say he'd slept with 5,000 women as at that time. 5,000 women, do you all know how crazy that is? According to Hollywood transvestite Sham Ibrahim in 2015, Charlie is very into all sorts of fetishes and kink. He loves his trans girls. He is very into dildos, S&M, leather, and just about anything that goes along with it. Well, his habit of sleeping with different women caught up with him as he contracted HIV in 2011. Fortunately for him, he managed to recover from his addiction. After his recovery, he said, I have cleansed myself, I closed my eyes, and in a nanosecond, I cured myself. It's the work of sissies. The only thing I'm addicted to is winning. Angelina Jolie. Next on the list is one of Hollywood's most famous actresses, Angelina Jolie. Angelina Jolie is an American actress, filmmaker, and humanitarian, known for her roles in movies such as Girl Interrupted, for which she won an Academy Award, Lara Croft, Tomb Raider, and Maleficent. I think almost every Hollywood fan knows that she's addicted to drugs, but apart. Being addicted to drugs, she admitted that she had tried them all by the age of 20. I have done just about every drug possible, cocaine, heroin, ecstasy, LSD. Angelina has a strange addiction with knives. The actress has spoken about her addiction to knives. 
According to her, she started liking knives when she had sex with her boyfriend at the age of 14, after her indulgent mother allowed her to move her boyfriend into their home, even giving them the master bedroom. She said, I had started having sex with my boyfriend, and the sex and the emotions didn't feel enough. I was no longer a little girl. In a moment of wanting to feel closer to my boyfriend, I grabbed a knife and cut him. She became a goth who dressed in black and collected knives and swords. She has admitted to having a fascination with collecting and using knives for various purposes. She said, I collected knives and always had certain things around. For some reason, the ritual of having cut myself and feeling the pain, maybe feeling alive, feeling some kind of release, it was somehow therapeutic to me. Weird. In 2008, she was seen taking her seven-year-old son, Maddox, shopping for knives. She said, we take him to a special shop. We also talk about samurais and the idea about defending someone as good. After getting criticized by the media, she revealed that it was something of a family tradition. Her late mother, Marceline Bertrand, took her shopping for a knife when she was just 11. Robert Pattinson. Robert Pattinson is a British actor and musician known for his role as Edward Cullen in the Twilight film series, based on the novels by Stephanie Meyer. The success of Twilight made him a favorite for millions of fans worldwide. Since his breakout role in Twilight, Pattinson has featured in top films like Cosmopolis, Good Time, and The Lighthouse. Despite his talent, Robert has two weird addictions that might end up getting him into some trouble. He is addicted to Diet Coke. He admitted to drinking as many as 300 cans of Diet Coke in a week and eats way too much Cinnamon Toast Crunch. In a recent interview, he said, I was just taking out my trash and I had like 300 cans of Diet Coke. It was just like, how did that happen? I don't even remember buying them. He also admitted that he loved sugary foods, which he claims is all he consumes. Jesse Eisenberg. Jesse Eisenberg is an American actor, filmmaker, and a cat lover or cat addict. Eisenberg made his television debut with the short-lived comedy drama series Get Real before gaining roles in films. He became popular after featuring as Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg in David Fincher's film The Social Network, 2010, for which he was nominated for the Academy Award for Best Actor. However, Jesse is also known for his peculiar addiction to adopting stray and foster cats. In a 2011 interview, he admitted to having 42 cats in his home, like, his apartment is basically a cat boarding house. How does he do that, and what made him start getting addicted to cats? Well, Eisenberg said in his interview, after he was asked if his life had changed in any way since the release of The Social Network, he said, I have a lot more cats. He further revealed that his house is full of cat food, litter, and nothing else. So, why does he have all the cats? He said that he feels guilty for having such success in movies and so cares for abandoned cats. So for him, the more movies he does, the guiltier he feels about not helping enough cats. Of course, it's good to help cats, but having 42 cats in your home is a crazy type of cat person. Jane Mansfield. Jane Mansfield is an American actress, model, and a nightclub entertainer. Mansfield became famous after playing the role of fictional actress Rita Marlowe in Will Success Spoil Rock Hunter. She also featured in films the musical comedy The Girl Can't Help It, the drama. The Wayward Bus and the Sex Comedy Promises. Promises. Jane was addicted to a lot of different things, alcohol, narcotics, drugs, and sex addiction. Her sex addiction led to all three of her marriages dissolved in no small part due to a series of numerous extramarital affairs. She even claimed to have slept with U.S. President John F. Kennedy and his brother Robert. However, what Mansfield was truly addicted to was publicity. Her drive for publicity was one of the strongest in Hollywood. She gave up all privacy and her doors were always open to photographers. She even had a publicity team which featured the likes of publicist James Byron, William Schifrin as press agent, Greg Boutzer as attorney, and Charles Goldring as her business manager. Between 1956 and 1957, 
She appeared in about 2,500 newspaper photographs and had about 122,000 lines of newspaper copy written about her. By the 1960s, Mansfield had top press polls for more words in print than anyone else in the world and had made more personal appearances than even a political candidate. This led her to being regarded as the world's most photographed Hollywood celebrity. According to her agent, William Schifrin, she became a freak. She made news on a regular basis for bad dresses and wearing low-cut dresses without a bra. One of these was during promotion of the film Underwater, starring Jane Russell. She purposely wore a too small red bikini lent to her by photographer friend Peter Gowland. When she dove into the pool for photographers, her top came off, creating a burst of media attention. The ensuing publicity led to Warner Bros. and Playboy approaching her with offers, exactly what she wanted. Again, on June 8th of the same year, her dress fell down to her waist twice in a single evening, once at a movie party, and later at a nightclub. Her love for publicity led to her first husband, Paul, to file for custody of her daughter, Russell Brand. Russell Brand is a British actor, comedian, and writer. He first became famous for his stand-up comedy and later for his roles in movies like Forgetting Sarah Marshall and Get Him to the Greek. One of Russell Brand's most well-known addictions was to drugs and alcohol, which began in his teenage years and continued into his early career. But do you know that Brand was also a sex addict? I mean, someone who received the Shagger of the Year Award from The Sun for three consecutive years. Brand's sexual addiction started in Hong Kong when his dad introduced him to his first prostitute. In his memoir, My Bookie Wook, which he wrote about his journey through addiction and recovery. He revealed how he had a harem of about 10 women, which he would rotate in addition to one night stands and random casual encounters. Yeah. He further said that he was on the brink of becoming sufficiently well known for his carnal overindulgences with lap dancers and prostitutes, which almost destroyed his career. His sexual addiction ended on a spongy mattress in rehab with a convicted pedophile as a roommate. He was admitted to the Sexual Addiction Treatment Center in Philadelphia. After his divorce with Kathy Perry, he is rumored to have gone back to being a sex addict. He said that being single was like getting a job in Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. Tallulah Bankhead. Tallulah Bankhead is an American actress who dominated the stages of Broadway and screens during the early 20th century. Bankhead was well known for her drug and alcohol addiction, as well as her sexual addiction. She had sexual relationships with both men and women. She had many sexual escapades with her colleagues, including an encounter with Johnny Weissmuller in the Garden of Ala Pool, about which she said that she had been a very satisfied Jane. There were no limits on her sexual activity. She even admitted that she could never say no. At one point, she counted 185 men with whom she had sexual relations with including a young Marlon Brando. One thing about Tallulah is that she was not ashamed about her sexual escapades. On one occasion, she received visitors to discuss a new role she was being offered while in bed, engaged in sexual congress with her husband, John Emery. She would even mention them during interviews. One was a remark she tossed off in an interview. She said, I haven't had an affair for six months. Six months, too long. I want a man. These publicities made her get very few roles and led her back to Broadway. Her sexual addiction eventually led her to what almost ended her life. In 1933, while performing in Jezebel, Bankhead nearly died following a five-hour emergency hysterectomy due to gonorrhea, a sexually transmitted disease which she claimed she had contracted from either Gary Cooper or George Raft. Jessica Simpson. Jessica Simpson is an American singer, actress, and fashion designer. She first gained fame in the late 1990s with her debut album, Sweet Kisses, which featured the hit single, I Wanna Love You Forever. She later expanded her career and went into acting. She featured in movies like The Dukes of Hazard and appeared on reality TV shows, including Newlyweds, Nick and Jessica, which she did with her then husband, 
Nick Lachey. Jessica had one strange habit, which is chewing nicotine gum, despite never being a smoker. She revealed this on a live show in 2010. Nicotine gum is a Food Drug Administration approved medicine that can help people quit smoking. According to Jessica, her friend's mother gave it to her. She said, I was chewing it and it was like a party in my mouth. It was like fireworks and oh my God, I'm talking a million miles per hour and I love this gum. And what kind of gum is this? I have to have this gum. She revealed that the gum gave her energy. Mila Kunis, Mila Kunis, and Hollywood actress who is known for her roles in both television and film. She rose to fame for her role as Jackie Burkhart on the popular TV show, That 70s Show. Kunis later became even more famous for her performances in movies like Black Swan, Friends with Benefits, and the Bad Moms series. Despite being a female, Kunia has a strange addiction to World of Warcraft, a popular online role-playing game. She revealed her addiction to the game during an appearance on Jimmy Kimmel's talk show. Mila revealed that whenever she has some free time, she likes to spend it playing video games. According to her, some of her favorite games were Mario Party, Call of Duty, and World of Warcraft. Kunis was so addicted to World of Warcraft that she forced herself to quit playing because she spent too much time on it. She said, let's just say I had to quit the game for good going on a year now. Her love of World of Warcraft has led directly to the creation of a brand new Web3 powered gaming IP Armored Kingdom. Johnny Depp. John Christopher Depp is an American actor and musician. Depp began his career as a musician performing in several amateur rock bands before transitioning into film. He made his feature film debut in the horror film A Nightmare on Elm Street, 1984, and appeared in Platoon, 1986, before rising to prominence as a teen idol on the television series 21 Jump Street, 1987-1990. Depp gained worldwide stardom for his role as Captain Jack Sparrow in the swashbuckler film series Pirates of the Caribbean, 2003-2017. One of Hollywood's most talented actors, Johnny Depp, is addicted to Barbie dolls. Shocking right. The actor started collecting Mattel dolls when his daughter was still a child. He collects mostly fashion dolls such as Blythe dolls and Barbies and attends doll shows regularly to discover and collect more. Depp says that he plays Blythes a lot with his kids and claims it's one of the things he's good at. Johnny says he will dress and accessorize his collection according to what is going on in show business news. His residence is home to stacks of CDs, insects and animal skeletons, props from his movies, and numerous Barbies and Blythe dolls that take up a large amount of space. According to rumors, Depp's collection includes a number of dolls, miniatures of Beyonce, the cast of High School Musical, and Lindsay Lohan, complete with house arrest ankle bracelets. Emma Watson. Emma Watson is a lot like her most well-known character, Hermoyne Granger, in that she's admitted that her addiction is to learning. She was quoted saying, I just love learning. I'm like, addicted to learning. I just want to know as much as I possibly can. Emma Watson is a British actress who gained fame for her role as Hermione Granger in the Harry Potter film series. Born on April 15, 1990, she was just 11 years old when she first appeared as Hermione, and she grew up as the series progressed. Apart from Harry Potter, Emma Watson has starred in several other successful films, including The Perks of Being a Wallflower, Beauty and the Beast, and Little Women. Unlike some of her young Potter co-stars, she decided to continue her education after graduating from high school. She went as far as giving Warner Brothers an ultimatum that if they didn't accommodate her educational needs, then she'd stop doing Harry Potter. Harry Potter producer David Heyman revealed that Watson's school pursuits would come up every time they negotiated with her. He said, Emma, in particular, was quite academic and was very keen in pursuit of schooling and was wrestling a little bit more than the others. Jane Lynch. Jane Lynch is an American actress, singer, and comedian known for her role as Sue Sylvester, 
the sharp-tongued cheerleading coach on the TV show Glee, which won her several awards, including an Emmy. She also featured in shows like The 40-Year-Old Virgin, Best in Show, and Two and a Half Men. Like many other actors, Lynch struggled from alcohol and drugs addiction, which she eventually managed to get sober from. But even after getting sober, Lynch got addicted to something even more strange, a cough syrup called NyQuil. She was depressed and had to use NyQuil syrup, which she called her happy oblivion. Lynch was worried that she was becoming an alcoholic, so she turned to NyQuil instead. Unknowingly to her that when taken in large quantities, the alcohol contained in NyQuil could cause intoxication. So her daily routine was to eat a gallon of ice cream every day to give her body the sugar it was used to due to all the beer she used to drink. Then she would take NyQuil before bed to reduce the effect of the alcohol she drank. Her addiction to NyQuil became worse and affected her career. During the play, the Brady Bunch. She felt unhappy and depressed, so she would abuse Nequil to put herself into a deep sleep. She later revealed that she was using the cough syrup to replace a bad habit of drinking too much alcohol. Lynch said she eventually sought help from Alcoholics Anonymous after a night getting high with her castmates. If you are enjoying this video, appreciate it by giving it a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button, Nicole Polizzi. Nicole Polizzi, popularly known as Snooky, is a television personality famous for her role on the reality TV show, Jersey Shore. Born on November 23, 1987, Snooky became a household name thanks to her wild antics and performance on the TV show, which aired from 2009 to 2012. Apart from being known as Snooky, she was also known for her pickles and tanning addiction. Before she gave birth, she was always seen binge eating pickles, grinding on some dude in a trashy club, or bragging about her tanning addiction. During episode three of Jersey Shore, she said, these are the things I think I'm addicted to, bronzer, boys, and alcohol. She has openly talked about how much she loves having a tan and has even referred to herself as a tanorexic. Snooky's deep tan and pickles became one of her trademarks. According to her, she was sent different pickles a month. In fact, she received a pickle subscription. She also revealed that she will let her son Lorenzo visit tanning booths when he becomes a teenager. Cheryl Cole. Cheryl Ann Tweedy, popularly known as Shirley Cole, is an English singer and television personality. She rose to fame as a member of Girls Aloud, a pop girl group created through ITV's reality competition show, Pop Stars. She was the first British female solo artist to have five number one singles in the UK, and she held the record until Jess Glynn overtook her in 2018. However, she has had this one strange addiction, which isn't so bad, carrot juice. She even admitted to drinking about eight glasses a day. Eight guys. Taking too much of everything is bad, but looks like Cheryl Cole doesn't seem to think so. Her addiction began when she was on a trip to South Africa for a holiday in Cape Town's Mount Nelson Hotel with dancer pal Derek Ha over the new year. Since then, she has been known to start her day with two big glasses of carrot juice and then consume six more with a side of smoked salmon throughout the day, making it eight big glasses. According to her, she loves how it gives her healthy, glowing skin and strong, long nails, but only time will tell how long it will take until she begins to look more like a carrot than a human being. Lily Allen. Lily Allen is a British singer and actress who became famous for her music career. Her debut album, All Right Still, released in 2006, included hit singles like Smile and LDN. Allen has featured in several films, including the 1998 film Elizabeth, which was co-produced by her mother. She later appeared as Elizabeth Taylor in How to Build a Girl in July 2019, alongside her brother, Alfie. Lily admitted to being so addicted to the internet that she had to cut herself off entirely. She said, I was using the internet in a really destructive way. 
She spent a lot of time online looking for negative comments about herself, which made her feel worse and worse. According to her, if she was feeling bad, she would look for negative things people were writing about her to substantiate how she was feeling. She would say, look, I am fat and ugly. She realized she was using the internet in a harmful way, like how some people use drugs or alcohol to cope with their feelings. In order to get rid of her addiction, Lily decided to get rid of all her electronic devices. She stopped using her phone and computer completely. She said, I don't own a Blackberry or a computer. I don't even read emails. Brittany Murphy. I'm sure you recognize her from shows like Clueless and Freeway. If you don't, Brittany Murphy was a talented American actress known for her roles in popular movies and TV shows. She gained fame for her performances in films like Clueless, Eight Mile, and Just Married. Despite her success, Brittany had some struggles behind the scenes. One of the lesser known aspects of her life was her strange addiction to prescription medications. She became dependent on various prescription drugs, which she used to cope with anxiety and pain. Tragically, she passed away on December 20, 2009, at the age of 32. Preliminary reports revealed that her death was said to be caused by pneumonia, but the presence of multiple prescription drugs in her system raised questions about what actually killed her. A number of prescription and non-prescription drugs were found at Brittany's bedside during investigations. That was when it became clear that she died of drug overdose. Brittany's friends confirmed that she did, in fact, have a drug problem, for which they had begged her to get help for months before she died. According to her friends, she became dependent on pain medication after a series of cosmetic surgeries she underwent in her early life. Anna Kendrick Mila Kunis is not the only Hollywood actor on the list with gaming addiction. Next is Anna Kendrick, an American actress and singer, known her roles in movies like Pitch Perfect, Twilight, and Up in the Air, for which she was nominated for an Academy Award. One peculiar thing about Anna Kendrick is her strange addiction to the game Angry Birds. In several interviews, she has mentioned how she can't get enough of this popular mobile game. She spends a lot of her free time playing it and finds it incredibly addictive. Back in 2011, Perfect Pitch Star confessed to her addiction with the game. She said, I have three stars on every level. It's sort of disgusting how much I play the game. It's not, oh, what level am I on? It's, do I need therapy to break myself from playing Angry Birds? Even during the 2011 Tribeca Film Festival kickoff party held at W Hollywood Hotel, Anna revealed that she was playing the game in the car on her way to the event. Salma Hayek. Salma Hayek is a Mexican actress and producer. Born on September 2, 1966, she became famous in the Mexican film industry with the telenovela Teresa before moving to Hollywood, where she became internationally famous for her role in the 2002 film Frida, which she played the artist Frida Kahlo. Behind the scenes, Hayek has an addiction that would leave your mouth wide open, breastfeeding. Ever heard of that? It all started after the birth of her daughter, Valentina Paloma, in 2007. The actress couldn't stop breastfeeding. She continued breastfeeding her daughter for more than a year. Talking about her addiction, she said, I'm like an alcoholic. It is like, I don't care if I cry, I don't care if I am fat, I'm just going to do it for one more week, one more month, and then when I see how much good it is doing her, and I can't stop. She once controversially breastfed a starving baby on a trip to Sierra Leone in 2009. Maybe this explains why. Simon Cowell. Simon Cowell is a well-known figure in the entertainment industry. Born on October 7, 1959 in London, England, he became famous as a television producer, actor, music executive, and talent show judge. He is best known for his work on popular TV shows like American Idol, The X Factor, and Britain's Got Talent. Cowell's blunt and often harsh critiques of contestants have made him a household name. Interestingly, he has a peculiar addiction. He loves Angel Delight. His X Factor sidekick and former girlfriend, Sunita, revealed his sweet tooth cravings. 
He has a two-packet-a-day problem or habit. It's his comfort food. He walks around with a packet of cigarettes and a packet of Angel Delight. He will have a bowl of pink Angel Delight at home or even in the back of a limo. In case you're wondering what Angel Delight is, Angel Delight is a sweet dessert powder that's meant to have milk added to it in order to create a whipped cream or mousse-like consistency. The sweet powder dessert mix is popular in the UK and Cowell loves the strawberry flavor. Heidi Montag. Remember Heidi Montag? The actress who became famous through the reality TV show, The Hills. Blair Pratt, popularly known as Heidi Montag, is an American reality television personality and singer who is addicted to plastic surgery. Heidi underwent a series of extensive cosmetic procedures, including multiple surgeries in one day. Popular blog, The People Cover, first claimed that she is addicted to plastic surgery. She openly admitted to being addicted to altering her appearance through these surgeries. At only 23 years of age, the The Hills star went under the knife to have 10 procedures completed in a day, shocking not only the public, but also her close family. The 10 surgeries includes mini brow lift, Botox for forehead and frown area, nose job revision, fat injections in cheeks, nasolabial fold and lips, chin reduction, liposuction on neck, ear surgery, breast augmentation revision, liposuction on waist, hips, inner and outer thighs, and buttock augmentation. She said, for the past three years, I've thought about what to have done. I'm beyond obsessed. According to her, she decided to go for plastic surgery because she was teased as a child and called names referencing her looks and that she wanted to have these procedures done to make herself feel beautiful. She also said that she was teased about her looks and that entertainment blogs made fun of her chin, saying it looked like Jay Leno's Katy Perry. Catherine Elizabeth Hudson, professionally known as Katy Perry, is an American singer, songwriter, actress, and television personality. She is known for her influence on modern pop music and her camp style, being dubbed the Queen of Camp by Vogue and Rolling Stone. Perry rose to fame with One of the Boys, 2008, a pop rock record containing her debut single, I Kissed a Girl, and follow-up single, Hot and Cold, which reached number one and three on the U.S. Billboard Hot 100, respectively. She made her film debut in the 3D family motion picture The Smurfs as Smurfette on July 29, 2011. Katy Perry is known for her dedication to dental hygiene, brushing her teeth an impressive six times a day. At just 27 years old, the Part of Me singer keeps a stash of 20 brand new toothbrushes handy, a habit stemming from her fear of getting cavities. According to a source close to her, Katie won't go anywhere without her stack of brushes, a precautionary measure due to her childhood experience with 13 cavities. Katie's obsession with toothbrushing was also as a result of her admiration for Britney Spears, whose dazzling smile she admired in music videos. In an interview, Katie confessed, I brush my teeth all the time. I wanted them to be like Britney Spears White. Tom Hanks. Thomas Jeffrey Hanks is an American actor and filmmaker known for both his comedic and dramatic roles. Behind the scenes of his funny character, Hanks has an addiction with typewriters. According to Harper's Bazaar, Tom Hanks is the owner of a collection of over 200 antique typewriters. It's a little obsession of his to buy more and more of them. Owning around 250 typewriters in total, Hanks's addiction is no joke. Hanks explained his addiction to typewriters in an interview during London Literature Festival. What thrills me about typewriters is that they are meant to do one thing and one thing only, and with the tiniest amount of effort and maintenance, it will last a thousand years. In August 2014, Hanks released Hanks Writer, an iOS app meant to emulate the experience of using a typewriter. Within days, the free app reached number one on the App Store, Sofia Vergara. Sofia Vergara is a Colombian and American actress and television personality known for her role as Gloria Delgado Pritchett in the ABC sitcom Modern Family and drug lord Griselda Blanco in the Netflix miniseries Griselda. 
Sofia Vergara has always been open about her love for food. She says she cannot limit herself, especially when it comes to cakes. She told the popular blog, People, well, I have an addiction to sweets, to sugar, and I have come to terms with it because I have tried many things, even hypnotism, and it doesn't work. The actress revealed that she even submitted herself to hypnosis therapy to get rid of her strange urge to eat cake all the time. When she was asked for her go-to, she said, cake, it's always cake. Sugars are responsible for several life-threatening diseases like diabetes. So in order to avoid that, Sophia tries to balance her meals so she can eat sweets. She said, I eat a balanced diet when I can or I don't eat hamburgers, pizza, fattening things. I try to eat healthy so that I can eat sweets. Jack Black. Thomas Jacob Black is an American actor, comedian, and musician. He is known for roles in family and comedy films, in addition to his voice work in animated films. Black had his breakout role in the musical film High Fidelity. This led to larger roles in films like Shallow Hal in Orange County, before he solidified his leading man status with his starring role in School of Rock. Black was a drug addict. He started smoking at a very young age, so having been a smoker before, he was no stranger to addiction. Black had another addiction, which was not a normal addiction, though it is a healthy one. Jack Black is addicted to green tea. He started drinking green tea in 2008. According to him, he developed the habit after the birth of his second son. In fact, he's so addicted that they might as well call him Jack Green. He drinks several cups a day, even in the summer. Those are the top strangest addictions in Hollywood history. What do you think about these actors and their strange addiction? Let's know your thoughts in the comment section below, and don't forget to like and subscribe.